Now, an Iranian exile who inspired the Steven Spielberg movie, The Terminal, is no more. He lived at a Paris airport for 34 years. Karimi Nasser Miran died at the terminal due to natural causes. He was known to the airport staff as Alfred Miran or Sir Alfred. He had taken up residence on a plastic bench in the airport's shopping mall in 1988. This came after he was denied entry to Britain as he had no papers. He was also not allowed to enter France. He left Iran at the age of 20 to search for his mother. He believed she was from Scotland. Miran failed to find her in Britain and returned to Iran in 1975. However, he was stripped of his citizenship for protesting against the regime. Britain also refused to let him come back. Eventually, he was declared stateless. Miran carried all his belongings in an airport cart. He spent his days listening to radio, reading the newspaper, writing down his thoughts. The airport staff gave him food. They ensured that he received his mail and was treated by the airport doctor. He used the airport restrooms to shave and take a bath. Hollywood director Steven Spielberg was fascinated by his story. This inspired the 2004 film The Terminal with Tom Hanks playing the role of the man who takes up residence at an airport.